All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Call Hala Yahawa Bashem Yahawa Shai Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akiyam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And Shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to rock this eye to be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And um, this lesson is going to be based upon a video from the Epic Economist. And... Um, as you can see, it's in uh, the thumbnail says, uh, "Be ready for the evictions," and it says um, it's the video is entitled "Middle Class Families Face Homelessness Crisis as Evictions and Foreclosures Hit Record Levels." Again, middle class families face homelessness crisis as evictions and foreclo and foreclosures hit record levels. So I'm gonna read a little bit of the description. And then um, I got a couple of scriptures I'm going to bring out. And uh, that'll be the lesson. I don't want to write again. It'll be edifying, exhorting, and comforting. Hey, we're close, man. This place is through. Like we, we always say, uh, Babylon the Great is CTD. It's circling the drain. This uh, this motherfucker's on life support, man. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is about to yank the plug. Beautiful times for the elect of Yasharala. Horrific times for the rest of you, you heathens. And two-thirds of Yasharala that refuse to repent. So I'm going to read a little bit of this. It says, The United States just faced the highest spike in homelessness records. Saki, the United States just faced the highest spike in homeless homelessness rates on record. And that's directly tied to the decline of the American middle class. Which we know um, that whole pandemic um, helped to erode the middle class okay and um basically if there's another wave of lockdowns like they're like they're um saying there might be that's completely gonna annihilate the rest of the middle class which is all part of uh esau edom the wicked elites uh master plan the again the hegelian dialect um order out of chaos pressure from above pressure from below you know um, they're bring they're bringing in the squeeze. Remember, um, what did they say? You will own nothing and be happy. You know. So it says, new new numbers suggest that the middle income families are the hardest hit by the ongoing housing crisis. And me and the brother um, at camp, we were going into how the middle class of America pretty much um, is the backbone of the economy. Okay. As far as uh, taxation, the poor don't really pay taxes like that, and then the super super rich, you know, the, you know, there's all type of loopholes and they barely pay taxes. Remember, uh, you know, Donald Trump was talking about, you know, if you're smart, you don't pay taxes. So the middle class is really who, um, you know, you know, is it, taxed the most. They're 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 carrying this. Um, you know the the American economy, you know. So once once the middle class is completely done away with, this place is through, which is all by design. So it says right now the number of evictions and foreclosures is hitting sky highs, as affordability issues continue to worsen, and about three in four middle class households can no longer afford current housing prices. NRA released a new report that shows that more than 75% of homes on the market are now too expensive for middle income families. Researchers highlighted that workers earning up to $75,000 per year could afford just 23% of all listed properties in the US. A study by Redfin found that 8.6% of listed houses in the US were worth seven figures in August. These numbers underscore how, in many areas of the country, million-dollar homes are not necessarily luxurious. They're, actual, they're actually normal properties because of inflation, which is leading to hyperinflation, which we know 
it's all because the um, these different nations are, are, are quickly dumping the dollar. They're they're walking away from the dollar, especially with the with this whole BRICS alliance. So it says they're actually normal properties, according to Lending Tree's senior economist Jacob Channel. There are a lot of areas at this point where million dollar homes have not only become more common. They've also, for lack of better term, become more middle class, he said. With price right with prices rising far faster than people's incomes, more and more families are in danger of losing their homes amid an explosion in the number of foreclosure filings. In the first half of the year alone, foreclosure starts shot up fifteen percent according to real estate data provider ATTOMS. Mid years twenty twenty three U.S. foreclosure market report. Eviction rates are also climbing across the nation in the third quarter. Princeton University Eviction Lab reported that the average number of eviction filings jumped 50 percent above the normal 20 above the normal 2019 average. That's before the pandemic and the boom that led home and rent prices to rise by more than 40 percent in just years. Um, so you get the idea. You can watch the whole video for yourself and get the idea, you know. So basically, ends are meeting, man, and especially for for the middle, so-called middle class. The middle class is becoming a thing of the past, okay? You know, because really, what's happening is um, we're we're in a state of inflation, man. Recession, inflation, head into a great depression, man. You know, beautiful times. This place is through. So let, let's uh, hit the scriptures and I'll close out. I don't know if I'm going to read them all. I'm going to just go through the spirit. Um, one of Elder Apostle Ricard's favorite scriptures, which has become one of my favorite scriptures, because we've seen it more and more. Second Ezra 8 and 50. And, and, and your sorrow brings us joy, man. <laughs> your, so, your people suck. There's a lot of you were in that mirthy spirit. You know, you were living high off the hog, you know. You were just living it up in Funland. But the, as Elder Apostle Gabar says, Funland is coming to a grand closing, a, an abrupt closing, and it's gonna it's gonna catch a lot of you off guard, you know. Second Ezra eight and fifty. For many, 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 for many great, great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time, we're in the latter time, we're in the end of the end, shall dwell in the world. A lot of you are completely enamorated in this world, you know. You're obsessed with this world. You're obsessed with keeping up with the Joneses, you know. Um, all obsessed with social media, all about me, 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 what I have. Look at me, look at me, you know. Getting to the bag and you know, stunting on the next man, you know. That's what that's what, that's what the lovers of self. That's what these people are, man. But reality, reality is about to slap you in the face. A lot of you are in for a rude awakening. Evil times are on the horizon. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. They are in the same spirit of their daddy, Esau, Edom. They are of their father, the devil. Revelation 18, the main point is in 7. I start at 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. And this is spiritual. We're doing it spiritually right now. Repenting, turning back to your how about you, shy. OK, but sh but um, the time is coming where we're going to actually physically come out of her, you know, and get beamed up in them chariots, you know. And so, so it says, and, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her, double according to her works. In the cup which she have filled, fill to her double. All those curses we had to gobble down, chiefly slavery, you know. But the good news is this cup is now, you know, um, turning unto these heathens, them that hate us, which I have, you know. How much more she have, how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. That's the, that's the sentiment of the majority of you Babylonians. 
you're completely um, in La La Land. You don't think no evil is ever going to befall this place. You don't think you're ever going to fall upon hard times. But guess what? Hard times are knocking at the door. So it says how much she have glorified herself. And that's what that's all this place is vanity and vexation of spirit, especially with the invention of social media. Oh, you know, you fucking recording yourself uh, doing, you know, all manner of folly, you know, <laughs> you know, man, beautiful times, man. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. The pride of these people, they're proud, man, you know, haughty. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. But I done read to you many miseries about to befall you. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And the ultimate plague, the ultimate judgment is going to be those missiles, which is going to says, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. The second death, the lake of fire, America, Babylon the Great, being completely destroyed, pelted with ICBMs, hypersonic missiles. For strong is the Lord, Adawan Yahweh, who judges her. Okay, I'll read a little bit more. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, all these heathens, they're confederate with her, right? But Yahweh Bashim and Shai is going to put it in their spirit to turn on this whore and burn them with fire. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication with and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, America, right? For in one hour is thy judgment come. And that's the times that are quickly approaching. Isaiah 24 I'll start the main point is in 10 but I'll start at 7 the new wine mourneth the vine languisheth all the merry hearted do sigh that's the time that we're coming into reality is, is, is uh, quickly setting in you know the and America ain't looking so mirthy no more especially for the middle class as you just saw you know the mirth of the tabrets ceaseth the noise of them that rejoiceth that rejoice endeth hey I, I was watching something about Disney you know, Disney World, because I'm in Florida. You know, Disney World was a major attra a tourist attraction. Matter of fact, Florida's a tourist state. But the um, the 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 uh, the people that have been going to Disney been dropping drastically. People ain't been going to Disney like that because they can't afford it. All these so-called theme parks, you know? Hey, showing you the times that we're living in, you know? Ends are meeting. The Murphs, Salakia. The mirth of the tabriff ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. That's the times that we're coming into. You ain't going to be just drinking all willy-nilly to turn up and, you know, popping bottles and all this shit. You know, you're going to be drinking to escape reality, you know, you know, because all hope is uh, uh, gone, you know. <laughs> so it says the city of confusion that's America Babylon the great the Hebrew word for uh, Babylon is Babal and Babal means confusion that's what this place is nothing but confusion the city of confusion is broken down you're seeing it being broken down this place is through it's circling the drain every house is shut up that no man may come in the times that we're coming into there is a crying for wine in the streets all joy is darkened the mirth of the land is gone that's the time that we're coming into there's going to be a crying for wine the true wine the wine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai this, this water this oil you know this wine this you know this truth answers real answers you know not lies you're not going to want lies in them times and, and you're going to want true answers of why why these things why why are these things happening why why is you know the economy the way it is why is there lawlessness why is the love of many waxing cold you know why is there famine why is all hell breaking loose why how do we escape you know how do we get salvation you know what is the name of the heavenly father and his son that's the times that we're coming into you're going to want answers but but it's going to be too late the doors of mercy are going to slam shut 
You know? And how about Shimei Hoshai is going to withdraw his men? That's the times that we're coming into. Beautiful times. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And that's what I read about the cup. They drinking this cup now. You know? They're drinking this cup. And they're going to drink double of it. Baruch chapter 4. One of my favorite chapters. One of my favorite chapters and verses. Uh, I start, Main point is in 31 and 32. I start at 28. For as it was. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh. So being returned. Seek him ten times more. That's what we do. We're giving diligence. You know. Repenting. You know. Praying. Fasting. You know. Putting on as the elect. For he, for he that brought these plagues upon you, that's the good news. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has not done away with his people. Lamentations 4 and 21 and to on down. This is the end of our bid. For he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. And hey, we're, 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 joy, hey, we're happy now. You know, we're happy watching this place collapse. It brings us joy. Take a good heart. O Jerusalem and we're people before a place and we're scattered amongst the four corners of the earth but the bulk of us are in the Americas take a good heart O Jerusalem for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee this is the main point miserable you see it through the middle class prime example miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall can't make their uh, mortgage payments uh, these different uh, insurance companies are dropping them or the insurance is going through the roof they're, they're, you know, their businesses are collapsing, you know, you know, they, hey, their credit cards are maxed out. They're at, these people are at their wits end. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin, yeah, they said, raise it, raise it. The, remember the daughter, remember the daughter of Edom. You know, Yaha, roughly paraphrasing, oh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, that said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. For as at, for as she rejoiced at thy ruin, yeah, they they um sent gifts to one another. You know, you know, they were they they was glad when we was on the bottom. But hey, hey, the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is rebuilding the tabernacle of David of old that has fallen, and and it's, he's sealing up the breaches thereof. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. And these people are starting to mourn. Beautiful times, man. Your pa times. Okay, Jeremiah 51, the main point is in 8. I start at 5. For Yasharala, Israel have not been forsaken nor Yahweh the Judah of his power of the Lord of hosts Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai the northern or the southern kingdom Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has not done away with his people though their land was filled with sin against the holy one of Yasharala flee out of the midst of Babylon I, I, I done told you now is the time to repent seek the Lord ten times more flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of the Lord Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is about to recompense this devil and these heathens and two thirds of Yasharala. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. Drunken on all these nations, all these people, drunken on this place's uh, wayward uh, um, ideologies. You know, it's, it's wayward philosophies. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen. It's the main point. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. You see it. This place is through. It's a former shell of itself. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. So that's the point. You can't heal this place. This place is through. It's nothing you can do. This place is through. And it's becoming more and more evident. Straight to the point. Isaiah 
19 and 15. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. And we know modern day Egypt is America. Spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Egypt representing bondage. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. Which the head, tail, branch or rush may do. And we see it. We see it more and more. Okay. The grinding is getting low. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Now is the time to seek the Lord while he may be found, in our strength, in our youth. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. That's the times that we're coming into. It's, get, it's, it's, looking, it's looking real meek out there, real bleak, you know? And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and, shall, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Meaning, the, verse of the, the voice of the bird represents the alarm clock. You ain't ain't going to be nothing for you to set your alarm clock to. Ain't going to be no jobs. Ain't going to be no work, you know? Ain't going to be no hope out there, okay? Evil times are on the horizon, baby. Beautiful times for the elect. Horrific times for the rest of you. I'm going to close out here. Ezekiel, Ezekiel uh, 35, or is it 30? Sock, Ezekiel 7 and 5 and 6. Ezekiel 7, 5 and 6. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, thus saith the Lord, Adawan Yahweh, an evil and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble, Jacob's trouble, is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee, and accomplish mine anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and I will recompense thee for all thine abominations. That's the times that we're coming into. Beautiful times, man. This place is through. These people are through. All right? Hey, man, keep pushing. Keep fighting, man. Our redemption is nigh. Victory is nigh. Shalom. Wa abad babal. Kwam yasharala.